T minus 15. 10. 9, Nine 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 and DART on NASA's first planetary defense test to intentionally crash into an asteroid. T minus 15. 10. 9, Nine 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 and DART on NASA's first planetary defense test to intentionally crash into an asteroid. So we're getting a nice view of the onboard cameras from the Falcon 9. So you can see it looking towards the first, the, the after end of the first stage. And you can see those engines coming to life. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. And Falcon 9 will be reaching max Q in just seconds, the moment of peak mechanical stress on the rocket. And, and here in the mission data center, we can feel the rumble from the Falcon 9. And it's always amazing to hear and feel. Power and telemetry nominal. Everything looks good right now. It's really shaking the building where we are. Vehicle supersonic. Just heard that call out for supersonic. Going faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And we've just passed Max Q, that moment uh, of peak mechanical stress on Falcon 9. Everything's looking good. We're still getting some nice views of the onboard Falcon 9 camera. And uh, we should be coming up on main engine shut off here in about a minute. So far, everything's looking good. Uh, all reports are nominal. Invec chill has started. Uh, we just heard the call off impact chill, so that's where it's getting ready to prepare. Uh, second stage for engine ignition. Now that main engine cutoff or MECO we expect at T plus 2 minutes 30 seconds and then almost immediately after that the first and second stage of Falcon 9 will separate followed by uh, the stage 2 first ignition and then shortly thereafter the jettison fairing at about T plus 3 minutes 8 seconds. So far, nominal liftoff. And as if you notice, the, 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 the plume or the, the flame coming from the engines have gotten bigger. That means it's high in the atmosphere where the atmosphere isn't compressing the, the flames coming from the launch vehicle. Nico. Ten. Nine. Nine eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 and DART on NASA's first planetary defense test to intentionally crash into an asteroid. So we're getting a nice view of the onboard cameras from the Falcon 9. So you can see it looking towards the first the, the after end of the first stage and you can see those engines coming to life stage one chamber pressure is nominal and falcon 9 will be reaching max q in just seconds the moment of peak mechanical stress on the rocket and, and here in the mission data center we can feel the rumble from the falcon 9 and it's always amazing to hear and feel power and telemetry nominal Everything looking good right now. It's really shaking the building where we are. Vehicle supersonic. Just heard that call out for supersonic. Going faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. 
and we've just passed max Q, that moment uh, of peak mechanical stress on Falcon 9. And everything's looking good. We're still getting some nice views of the onboard Falcon 9 camera. And uh, we should be coming up on main engine shut off here in about a minute. So far, everything's looking good. Uh, all reports are nominal. Invec chill has started. Uh, we just heard the call off impact chill, so that's where it's getting ready to prepare uh, the second stage for engine ignition. Now that main engine cutoff, or MECO, we expect at T plus 2 minutes 30 seconds, and then almost immediately after that, the first and second stage of Falcon 9 will separate followed by uh, the stage two first ignition and then shortly thereafter the jettison fairing at about t plus three minutes eight seconds the separation, right, separation confirmed and we just heard the call out for spacecraft separation you can see the video of the dart spacecraft on its way heading on its way to the digimo system what a spectacular view of DART, yep. uh, just floating away from the Falcon 9 second stage. And you can see the sun off to the side there as DART drifts away from the Falcon 9 second stage. And so this officially begins uh, almost a year of cruise for the DART spacecraft uh, flying through uh, on its way to the Didymo system. And at the time that it impacts Dimorphos uh, in late September 2022, uh, is what we expect, uh, the Didymo system will be within 11 million kilometers of Earth. Um, again, to remind folks, this, this uh, system is, does not pose any kind of threat uh, to Earth. This is purely a test. Um, and so DART, uh, when it approaches, uh, will smash into Dimorphos, the small moonlet of Didymos, um, at 15,000 miles per hour. Just astonishing rate of speed. Yeah, absolutely. Now, the next thing that uh, we have to get through, obviously, spacecraft separation is is a huge milestone, but we are we're not um, out of the woods yet. We still have to get acquisition of signal from the DART spacecraft, and that takes a little bit more time, right, Dutton? Yeah, and at this point. The launch vehicle has done its job, and we just want to make sure we get we he, basically hear from the Dart spacecraft, to make sure it's doing well. And if you think if you think about it, it's kind of like getting off of a roller coaster, right? You know, you step off the roller coaster, you know, you kind of steady yourself. You want to check your pockets, make sure you didn't lose anything along the along the way, make sure you're okay. Um, and that's basically what what we're looking for from the Dart spacecraft once it gets that acquisition of signal, because it's gonna kind of go through its self checks, make sure everything's okay, and then it's gonna send send word back to home basically saying, hey, I'm doing all right. And that's what we're looking for 